So installing my USB blaster on my Windows 10 machine, uh, I encountered an issue due to unsigned drivers, and I can demonstrate this issue for you. If I plug in the USB blaster, we'll see that the device appears as a USB blaster, but the driver uh, is not installed. Uh, when my machine was booted normally, uh, trying to install the driver via an update driver would fail, saying that there was a, a bad hash in the driver file and what that ultimately is uh, is saying is that the uh, driver is unsigned so to get around this you need to boot windows up in a special mode and to get to that special mode you take these steps uh, close all your applications open up a command window and you issue this command uh, shutdown slash o slash r slash t and zero slash o says reboot with the options menu Slash R says restart rather than just shut down, and T says do it instantly. So we issue that command, the machine shuts down and restarts, and it restarts with, with a different menu system. Uh, what we want to do then is pick the troubleshoot option. We'll get to this menu next. We want to pick the advanced options. We, want to then, we then want to pick uh, startup settings. And it'll basically warn us there we're about to bring the system up with, you know, these various things enabled or disabled, including you, you can disable device driver enforcement at that point. We go ahead and click restart. The system reboots. And as part of the reboot, you get to this menu right here. And there's an option 7 in here that says disable device signature enforcement. You pick option 7, pressing 7 on the keyboard. The machine will boot up. And once it gets booted up, you can then go ahead and install the uh, device driver. Uh, I have previously downloaded the device driver onto my machine. Peter provided me the link. It's sitting. I downloaded it into the uh, Altera folder. I've got the device driver sitting right here. USB blaster is plugged in. It's telling me that it needs a driver. We can go ahead and do an update driver. I want to browse my computer for it. We have already browsed here to this folder location. Click Next. It'll warn us that we have an unsigned driver, but we can pick the option here to install this driver anyway. This took quite a while to do before. Uh, we just need to sit here and be patient while it processes that driver. A couple of the things to note that I've noticed with the USB blaster is it needs to be plugged directly into a USB port on the computer. You don't want to be on a USB hub. Uh, there's been a lot of forum entries talking about this issue. Uh, I've encountered it myself, so when you're doing this, have it plugged into a port directly on the computer uh, rather than through a hub. Previously this took, like I said, quite a bit of time, so we'll just sit here and let this process. Uh, and eventually the driver will be installed. There it is. So it's successfully updated the driver. <clears throat> when I close this, I should see this entry here go away because it's now got a valid driver, which it's done. And the Altera USB blaster actually shows up as a universal serial bus controller right here. So there's the driver, and it's loaded. I should now be able to reboot the machine in normal mode, just restart it at this point and it would come up in the mode where you then can't install uh, unsigned drivers. From there we can go ahead and start up the uh, Altera programming software. Again, Peter, Peter provided me a link to this. I'll let it start here. There it is. In this case it's going to see my USB blaster because the driver is loaded and it knows it's there. I'm going to go ahead and, and close this and show you what you will see the first time you run it. So I've unplugged the USB blaster. It's no longer seen as a device here. Let's run the programmer software again. The programmer software will come up and, and may well say there's no hardware detected. If you get to that state and you know the driver's loaded, go ahead and click on hardware setup and you'll see the device hopefully show up in the menu here. And what would be, in my mind, to do would be click here and click close, but if you do that, there's still no hardware show up. What you actually have to do is go to the drop-down menu here and pick USB Blaster and close. 
And now the blaster is uh, connected to the programming software. From here, you just follow Peter's instructions, add file, set a couple options, uh, plug in the JTAG cable, and program. Anyhow, I hope this was useful. Uh, let me know. And we'll talk soon. Bye.